fellow collectors and welcome to Long's Toys. Today we are taking a look at the DX Command Twin Buckle and Raising Sword from Kamen Rider Geats. So you can see we get a new weapon here with the Raising Sword, but then we also get these two Command Twin Buckles. Although technically I guess this one's just called the Command Twin Buckle. We'll get into it. But you can see a little glimpse of the form here for both Geats and Tycoon up in the upper left corner of the box. Uh, not really too much going on here, just showing you the sword and then putting the buckles on the desire driver. Of course, we'll take a look at all of that. Down here, not really much, but we do see that there are five LR44 batteries included. So once again, you do not have to supply your own batteries, which is nice. Over here, we have Tycoon in the form, showing us the contents of the box. And then over here, we have Geats in the form, again, showing us the contents of the box. Spinning it around to the back. It shows you using just the one piece, the orange piece, and that kind of gives them like their entry form with a new helmet. And then when they use both of them, they get the full armor and they can kind of switch sides like any other one where you can have the jet on the top and the cannon on the bottom, or they can uh, revolve on and then switch places just like anything else. And then of course, this release does come with the pre-order bonus of the Tycoon Core ID. Finally, I know we've been looking for that for some time. And I'm not really sure why it was done as a promotional item instead of just being packed in with Ninja. That's a guess for another day, I guess. And then it does show you some of the attacks here that you can do with the sword. Again, we will take a look at all of this. So without further ado, let's get everything out of the box here and let's take a closer look. So here's everything you get in the box. Here is the Command Twin Buckle. Now, I don't think these have individual names. I think together they are the Command Twin Buckle, but there are two halves. There's the orange half and the blue half. The orange half does not have any electronics in it on its own. It does have a button right here. Uh, on the back, it has 077 molded in. Uh, and there's no QR code on this piece. And then if we come to the blue half, it does have sounds on its own. It's got a button here. This lever lifts up. I don't want to do it yet because it's going to set sounds off. There's no way to turn this one off. Uh, here is the little battery compartment. So here's where you pull the tab out. Here is the QR code. And then this has uh, 074 molded in. So they do have different numbers because they're read differently by the driver. So those are the two halves of the Command Twin Buckle. I will put them off to the side so we can take a look at the Raising Sword. There's not too much special to it, but I do like the motif. I think that the uh, orange and blue look good together. Nice translucent plastic here for the blade. This all lights up. These are LEDs here along the middle section here. You have this section where the blade or the uh, buckles connect. You have a button here. There's a button that gets depressed when you pop that in, which makes a noise. This is the release. So if you have a buckle attached, that releases that. This looks like a button, but it is not. You have some more orange and blue here. You have the trigger button. I feel like when you're meant to hold the sword like this, which is, you know, you're not meant to hold it like this because otherwise the LED would be hidden. You think you'd want the trigger down here instead of up here. It's not a big deal. It just seems a little unnatural. Uh, here is the on and off switch speakers over here. Uh, you do have the battery compartment right here, but you don't have to pull the tab out. You just go ahead and turn it on. So let's go ahead and do that. Sword. So it announces itself, Raising Sword. Just makes that generic sound. Uh, if you hit the button with nothing attached, So you get a cool little uh, music riff there. I like that quite a bit. Then when you hit the trigger, it says tactical raising. If we take one of the buckles and attach it. And I can never do this. See so here, we get a different attack sound now. And then we can hit the button. So it says full charge, but no music plays, and then you get the same tactical raising if you want to come back over here to release this. Now, I swear when I first saw pictures of this, I thought you were going to be able to attach both buckles, one on each side, but unfortunately that is not the case. It's just the one that attaches to the front, 
Would have been kind of neat to be able to attach both of them to the sword. I mean, I guess it doesn't make sense, because using the one with the driver summons the sword, so I guess I get it. But I just think for, you know, symmetry, that would have looked pretty cool. So now we'll attach the blue half. Can never get this on here. There we go. Okay. Same attack sound there. If I hit the button... Just says its name. If I pull the lever... I think they both say full charge. So it does the attack, but unfortunately it does not prompt the buckle to stop playing the music. So I feel like that's an oversight. I feel like you pull the lever, it says full charge, it starts playing the music, which I love the music. I hit the button to actually execute the attack. It does that, but the music does not stop. Like, the music should stop when it's executing the attack, but it doesn't. So you either have to remove the buckle or press the button to get the music to stop, which I feel like is a little weird. Um, but it is what it is. That's kind of all this does. It's okay. It's it's decent. I like the LEDs. I think that's pretty cool. Uh, on the show, when he used it this past weekend, he had to kind of, like, charge up the blade before it would let him unlock the buckle. And I know there's no way to, like, lock it or anything, but I think it would have been neat to be able to kind of simulate charging up the sword. They didn't really do anything like that. It's just the whole thing lights up. I like how the kind of colors fluctuate. I do think that's pretty cool. So it's okay. Uh, you know, it doesn't really do a ton, but it's kind of neat. All right, so we'll start with the orange half on its own first. Eh, hold on a second. Something just doesn't feel quite right. There we go. That's better. So, hooray! Finally have the core ID for Tycoon. Not really sure why it was done as a promotional item, but here we are. Uh, I was lucky enough to get the listing on Amazon Japan that kind of told you you were going to get this with the release. Uh, otherwise, if you just bought it from other retailers, you know, if they had enough, I'm sure they gave them out. Hopefully they did anyway. So, again, should have just been packed in with the Ninja Buckle, but here we are. I'm going to go ahead and leave this in for the rest of the review because it really makes no difference whatsoever. And it's just new and fun. And the green looks sharp, looks really good. I like it quite a bit, so we can go ahead and get this one going here. So let's go ahead and attach the orange half of the buckle. So it just says great. So yeah, great and great strike. Not really too much going on there. So we will bring in the blue half. Now the directions tell you to attach this to the sword, pull the handle down, it'll start the music, then it wants you to pop it off of the sword and pop it on here. As far as I know, it really makes no difference. I mean, I know technically that's kind of what he does in the show, so if you want to replicate that, you can. But as soon as you attach it to the driver, it's going to just go into what it does. So it doesn't have to be attached to the sword first, so I'm not going to. Uh, but I just wanted to point that out that the directions say, pop it on the sword first, pull the hammer down, then pop it off, and then attach it to here. But as soon as you attach it to here, it's going to start the same as when I attach it right now.
So you have a couple various attacks you can get there. I also just want to show what happens if you attach this and then hit the button instead of pulling the lever. It does nothing. And then if we switch this around. We can pair them with some other buckles. So you can hear that it doesn't really make sense to pair these two. Because this thing has its own sounds, it's always going to say jet and cannon, but you don't have the other half attached, so it doesn't really make sense. You can really only pair the orange half with other buckles, because this is always just going to make the same sounds.
I wanted to demonstrate real quick that it really doesn't matter what buckle you attach because it doesn't have a reader. So if you just attach this one. And of course, we got to try them out in the Magnum Shooter 40X. So like everything else, it just says great. But what's interesting is the Fever Slot raise buckle also said great in the Magnum Shooter. Once again, the music does not stop. I think this is a pretty cool set, but I have to admit, I'm feeling a little underwhelmed. I don't really know what I expected, but I just feel like it doesn't really do all that much, especially the individual components on their own. Obviously, most of the functionality is when you're using them in tandem together, which makes sense. Uh, we'll start with the sword. I think the sword looks good. I really do like the orange and blue motif that kind of goes across all these pieces, but I think it works the best for the sword. I really like the translucent plastic on there. I think that looks pretty cool. Uh, you get kind of two generic clanging sounds, you know, one if a buckle's attached, one if it's not attached. You have an attack sound if a buckle is attached. You have the button underneath the buckle that can do a different attack sound. So you have a fair amount of functionality there. Uh, when you pull the lever down on the blue half, it doesn't stop the music when you go to execute the attack. And that just kind of bothers me for some reason. Uh, I feel, I mean, I guess I understand because they want you to take this off while it's still playing and attach it to the driver. But you don't need to because when you attach it to the driver, it's going to say twin set whether it was playing music ahead of time or not, so there's not really a need to do that. I guess unless you're just trying to replicate what happened in the show, which I understand, and, you know, that role play is there for a reason. But, I don't know, I just feel like when you're using the lever to do the attack with the sword, then it should stop the music in the buckle, so that it can then transition to the sound of the attack, Instead, it kind of overshadows it. I just think that's kind of weird. Also, I don't know what I originally looked at, but for some reason I thought you were going to be able to attach both buckles, one on each side, and I think that would have looked a lot cooler just for symmetry and kind of made, you know, the sword look a little beefier. It's not a huge letdown, but it is something for some reason I thought was going to happen and I'm a little let down by that. Again, that's my own fault for misinterpreting the earlier stock photos. Uh, the orange half over here, it's a little boring, doesn't have any sound effects on its own, and they're very tiny, honestly, compared to other buckles, which, I don't know, is also kind of underwhelming. Again, it's not a bad set. I really do like it. I think it's fun, but for, I just have kind of a general sense of being underwhelmed. But it doesn't mean you will. I mean, if you like this, I think it's it's a lot of fun. I do like the sounds you get. I like the transformation when you attach both buckles to the driver. You know, the, the orange on its own is a little boring, but when you use them together, you get the jet and cannon, and that sounds cool, and you get the lock-on attack sound, and that's all cool. So, there's good stuff here. There's absolutely good stuff here. Just personally, I'm a little underwhelmed. But, I do really appreciate finally having the core ID for Tycoon. I don't know why that was put as a promotional item instead of just being packed in with the ninja buckle, as we all think it should have been. But here we are. Luckily, I was able to get a hold of one. Oh, also something I wanted to mention real quick. I know a lot of people early on kind of wanted the buckles but didn't want the sword or were hoping they were going to be sold together, or I'm sorry, sold separately. They're obviously like all meant to be together, so they're only sold as this set. There's no like buckle and sword pack and then buckle on its own. This is all one unanimous item here uh, because, you know, it, it's kind of all meant to work together. It's not really meant to be separate you know, in the show, when he uses this half, it calls these pieces over here. So it's one complete thing. So I know some people were kind of confused about that or, or hoping maybe that there was a singular release. But no, it's all it's all meant to be one combo thing. So 
Um, there's not like different versions you have to worry about to get the Tycoon Core. I think any time this is sold, you have a chance to get that if the retailer got some of the promotional items. So, uh, but yeah, I think it's fun. I just, like I said, a little underwhelmed, but for the most part, I do still think it's fun and I do still like it. So let me know what you guys think in the comments below. Please like, share, and subscribe. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. And as always, thanks so much for watching.